everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lisa May Jolly and today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine. I did a really brief step by step on my Instagram story of how I take my makeup off and everything. Thought I'd just go into a little bit more detail on my sort of everyday routine. Even though I don't really have a routine because every day for me is different, but I'm just going to speak through what products I'm using and what I'm loving at the moment. As I am a model, I have to wear quite heavy makeup a lot of the time. So when I take my makeup off, I have to make sure I get it off in the least damaging way possible because my skin is very, very sensitive and it does flare up when it's over irritated. So what I found that's working the best for me at the moment is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. It literally melts away my makeup, it's amazing. I use it almost every day whenever I wear makeup, but the days when I don't have to wear it, I tend to try and avoid it. Yeah, that's amazing, I just rub it into my face and then remove it with the a muslin cloth or um, a flannel. Usually, I don't really need to do anything else, it gets it off all in one go, but it tends to sometimes leave a, a layer of, it feels greasy, but it's not, but I always double cleanse, especially when I've had heavy makeup on. At the moment, I've just been using this Nivea um, sensitive cleansing milk, um, just to get rid of any, you know, left behind, anything left behind on my skin. At night, I tend to not wear a moisturiser, as my skin is very oily overnight, but I do have very dry skin. It's quite confusing. Um, I Some days I don't even know what my skin is. A lot of makeup artists ask me, you know, is your skin oily, is it dry? Depends on the weather. Depends what mood I'm in, I think, honestly. I use two moisturisers at the moment. They're both Clinique products. One is the dramatically different moisturising gel. Um, it's just very light. As you can see, it's very well loved. So I tend to use that most days. I do need to get a new one, obviously. However, my skin has been really dry at the moment. I went to the Clinique counter in Boots, wherever it was, a department store, and I spoke to the lady about what I could use instead of that one, and she recommended this one. So I use this on days when I don't work, or the weekends, or something like that. Sometimes it's more like a mask than anything else, because it's so thick, but it is incredible, and I would really recommend it. What I have found though, so I, I've touched briefly on the fact that I struggle with eczema underneath my eyes. This does flare up when I overwork and I tend to use a lot of products on my face. I'm starting to log down exactly what makeup artists are using on my skin so that I can narrow it down to see whether it's an allergic reaction or something like that. So someone recommended rosehip oil to me as something that uh, helps with irritated skin. I know a lot of people use it on um, psoriasis, so I thought it might work on my skin, especially when just even just to prevent my eczema flaring up again. So I got this from Amazon. Well, my dad did. Thank you, dad. Thanks, Keith. I got this 100% uh, pure organic rosehip oil. I think it was about 15 pounds. I've used it for uh, probably about two weeks now, and it's barely gone down. You only need a few drops, and it's amazing. You use it on your hands afterwards. I'm seeing results already from it. My skin feels incredible and I don't feel the need to moisturise as often. It is a dry oil as well so you don't feel like clogged up and I just I absolutely love the stuff and I can't wait to see what my skin's like in a few months if I continue to use that. So when I'm in the shower I tend to not use my balm to take my makeup in the shower. I tend to do it beforehand so I can use a cloth and everything. But when I'm in the shower in the morning saying I don't have any makeup on already, this is my absolute go-to. I have used this for years. It's a daily exfoliant, so you can use it every day if you want to. I don't tend to use it every day, but if sometimes I do and there's no issue. It doesn't irritate my skin. It helps me get all because I struggle with blackheads around my forehead and my nose. And it's just amazing. I love it. It's just a really simple product. So, And it's just part of my routine now, and I use it all the time, and it just... Now for my under eyes, I tend to I like using an eye cream separate from um, just my normal moisturiser. I like to concentrate that on a little bit more than the rest of my face. And I recently found Boots Own Time Delay Anti-Aging Cream. This is amazing. I actually really, really rate it. I like using anti-aging now. I mean, I'm only 23, but someone did tell me once that anti-aging is there to prevent and not to correct. So you should start using it now before you get wrinkles and wait to get wrinkles and then start using it. So you're not really losing anything by using it now. So I'm just gonna see what happens. Hopefully I'll look nice and radiant for the rest of my life. So as it's skincare, it's not necessarily just face skin. Um, I actually body moisturize every day, full body every day. But what I found that really works on my skin is the Vaseline Intensive Care 
Cocoa, oh my god, I'm dropping everything. Uh, Cocoa Radiant with pure cocoa butter. It is amazing. It smells divine. Everyone who knows me knows me by my smell, and I wear that every day, and I wear the same perfume every day. So I think the combination, it just, it's just me now. I've used it for years. I used to use the aloe vera one, but I just rate Vaseline's products. I don't actually rate um, Vaseline for your lips, as it doesn't actually moisturise. It kind of just puts a barrier up. So it's great when you're out and about and you're protecting them from the cold so they don't dry out, but they don't really do it. I think it makes it, it's, it worse. So the more you use Vaseline, the more you're going to need to use Vaseline. Now, as we're talking about lip care as well, uh, this is literally what I have about four of these. Um, as you can see, they're very, very well loved. They kind of rattle around in different handbags that I use coat jackets that I use, I just kind of have them everywhere, one in my makeup bag as well, just because I love them and it's my go-to, it's the Body Shop Hemp uh, Lip Balm, I really had a bad stage of having really dry lips at one point and it was just such a pain in the ass. I, I've I don't ever struggle with dry lips anymore, ever, because it's just part of my routine now, I carry it around with me everywhere so there's just no excuse not to use it. So obviously I travel a lot uh, with my job. Um, I go to shoots and stuff like that. Sometimes makeup is very wacky, and a lot that doesn't, the only thing that's on offer a lot of the time is face wipes. Um, I don't like using face wipes on my skin. I think it was Caroline Hirons that said once that uh, face wipes are only good for flights, festivals, and fannies, not your face. So I kind of stick by that now. I think it's a really good guide to go by. I use this as a little mini, it's kind of like my take the day off balm, but I just use it with some soft cotton pads and it just takes the makeup away perfectly. Love it! Just a little thing to just go in my bag because I don't really want to carry this around as it's pretty big and clumpy. Something my sister actually got me, hi Lauren if you're watching, um, she got me this for Christmas and it's the Sister & Co brand. I got uh, quite a few things from there in the uh, bag that she got me and this was a, like a lip tonic, it's raw coconut lip tonic, rose, otto and cardamom. I'm not sure what otto is. Otto? I'm gonna have to research that. Uh, this is a little bit more practical for going around in, you know, when you're traveling around and stuff um, but this is in my makeup bag at the moment so in the mornings I've been using this and I love it. It's really really good. Well I really do enjoy my skincare routine at the moment. Your skin works better with different products, everyone is completely different. So when you find a product that works for you, just run with it. Uh, sometimes it is nice to change it up every now and again, but I think I'm very good at staying and sticking to a routine. So once I'm in it and I'm happy with it and it works for me, I'm just gonna go for it. So, oh, I've left them out. So these are the nose pore strips. You know, that like just nose pore things, like getting blackheads and stuff at the moment. It's just all over every social media. You can't go anywhere without seeing someone squeezing out their blackheads, which is gross. Like, I love it though. I'm a proper, proper picker. Oh, it's so bad. I am like a little monkey. I just kind of like groom people. So when I get a spot, I will pick it till it's there's nothing even there sometimes. Sometimes I will just pick for the sake of picking. So it's at the moment, these are working really well for me because I can use them on, these think this is a nose pull one, but you can get the facial ones so you can put your forehead and your chin. So these are just brilliant. I always steam my face for about 10, 15 minutes beforehand just to open up all my pores so that it gets in there properly. And then it's just the most satisfying thing ever when you get it all out. But yeah, that's actually one of my biggest things. It's my biggest advice and it's probably the only advice I should, well, the advice I should take myself as well is not to pick. I am just so bad at picking. I will turn one tiny little spot into like the most disastrous mess on my face. Like you can even see at the moment, this one here, this is like healing at the moment. It was nothing. It was like this tiny little like white haired paw and I just picked and picked and picked, convinced that there was more stuff in there that there wasn't and it's just so bad. That I actually think might be it. Hopefully this has been insightful, I don't know. Um, it was kind of requested on my Instagram. So hopefully it was a little bit interesting for some of you. Please let me know if anyone struggles with eczema as well on the face and they found some miraculous discovery or miraculous product that helps please let me know um, because I'm always in the search for new things to help my skin I really hope you've enjoyed it uh, please give the video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna try really hard to get videos out every week now um, but I still don't know what to do like I don't know what content to create but please do suggest because I'm feeling a little bit uninspired at the moment so any help that any of you can give would be fabulous. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, have a lovely day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.